YouTube is Brian Phillips again. I know you've been waiting on the edge of your seats for what's in this box. Except that you could probably tell from the title, since it's in the title. Ooh, what is it? What is it you have here? Ooh, 2.4 gigahertz. Um, I can't read that. Can you read that to me? Yeah, it says airplane, Dang it. easy controller, age 14 plus. Great capability, the upside down. The camera is mutiny. <laughs> oh, buddy, would you look at that there. Wait. What is that? It looks eerily similar it does look to eerily another similar. plane that I you'll, just saw. You'll, you'll notice that this plane is not at all the same as the one that we just unboxed the other day. Even though in my reality, it might have been 10 minutes ago. Oh yes, look at that thing. That is really cool. Is this the Chinese variation of the uh, C-17? I'm huh? not sure if it is, but it sure looks like it could be. It's not made by Boeing. Mm -mm, and it's not a United, United with a W, but I bet it's gonna be awesome. It same. is an XK. Which... This is an XK, which means that there may be an elevator. Hopefully. You guys might have remembered my concern over the last airplane we reviewed, which was a C-17. Very beautiful plane. Didn't have an elevator. Seriously. Okay, this is an XK ready to fly aircraft, meaning that it will, oh, wow. Oof. Guys, I gotta say, the XK lineup, they come with some of the best goodies. This is bigger. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what is the first thing you notice, camera crew? It's assembled. Mm, what else? And it has an elevator. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I kinda, kinda led you up to that one. Okay, so a couple things to note. This seems to be a little bigger. Let's pause it and I'll do a comparison. Okay, folks, at home, so this is the A130, okay? As you know, I've been getting a lot of these things, and the first thing I do is I take my marker and I mark the back of the radio. Now, the reason I do that is so I can keep straight between the 747, the A150, the A800, which actually is a four-channel plane, and then the, the A380, which I believe is like the A130 maybe. But either way, the whole idea behind keeping them straight is a total moot point because they are the same thing. Just so you know, if you get one of these, you only need to run one transmitter. Even if it's not an XK toy, it's still made by WL Holiday or WL Toys. So, remember how I keep saying WL Toys, guys? Oopsie Ken. It says WL Toys on this charger. Amazing. And you'll notice that this says XK, okay? So it's not really a mystery. It's not supposed to be hidden. But what we're going to do is we're just going to slam through this unboxing because we've done so many of them lately that my camera crew is about to mute me on me. Mm -hmm. And I really want to fly this thing because that last one. Okay, couple key points. First of all, Chinese variation of the same military transport airplane, okay? Both quad turbine planes. This is a C-17. This is the whatever this is, okay? That is a pretty sweet looking plane. It's got the Chinese flag. Maybe not such a big fan of that since it was like 4th of July the other day. But even still, it's awesome. And I can't wait to see the thing fly. I actually like the way that this plane looks better, but it's quite a bit smaller, guys. Look at the difference. Big difference in size. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that's cool is when you get these little planes, okay? Oh, it has foam wheels. Awesome. Oh. Hmm. It's got foam wheels, guys. Foam wheels, really? That's pretty sweet. I got to say, of all the things to get excited about, I didn't think I'd be excited about <laughs> landing gear, uh, especially the ugly landing gear that come on these things. They actually don't look half bad. Oh, except that there's like five too few. But either way, I'll still live with it. It's still pretty cool. I'm gonna stick those in now. Comes with a screwdriver, in case you need it, but you actually don't have to assemble this one at all, that I can tell. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you get these landing gear, you can interchange them on some of these planes, which is cool. 
I actually might like the way that looks. Mm, not so much. You like That's that one better though? Than the other one? I like the looks of this a lot better. That's what I was thinking. But I like the function of this. I guarantee you it's gonna fly better. Okay, so you put your four batteries in there, double A's, not included. Battery in this is included, okay? Same thing, battery included, battery's not included for the small controller. The small controller that only has your roll and throttle. There is no elevator. This is technically three channel. This is technically I think this is technically two channel, which is pretty crazy for an airplane. Um, so we're gonna label this thing. Did I already label it? Nope, I didn't label it, but we're gonna do it right now. So this is the A130. I apologize, guys, I should know this. Um, being that I am somewhat of an aircraft. Oh, it's a Y20, duh, Y20. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother with this charger, but I'm gonna just give you the normal spiel. I won't use this charger, because I've got about 40 of them. And when I say 40, it's a slight exaggeration. It's got a little drum on the end. It's got a USB-A connector on the other end. The drum goes into the charger, like so. And you plug it into an old charger that's in the wall, and it's got a red light. Until the red light goes out, you know you're not done, okay? I have a 500 milliamp pack here. I have a 300 milliamp pack here. I have a 700 milliamp pack here. I also have the other size variety in the XK series here. That's a 300. So you notice this 300 is short and stubby and this 300 is long and skinny, okay? Same capacity, same voltage, same charge, all that good stuff, okay? This one's a 700, this one's a 500, this one's a 300, okay? So just to give you an idea of what I've got for these different types of airplanes, you can use more than likely even the 700 in here but we're gonna we're just trying it bone stock i've been uh careful to label these this is a 300 milliamp hour 1s really nice print on the it's like the best print lipo i've ever seen i can actually read everything on it so this is a y20 for those of you in north america also known as the a130 okay which is the xk product lineup Comes with spare props, screwdriver for the top, and we're gonna get ready to fly this thing, but I am gonna use a charged 300 milliamp because I don't have this one charged yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in queue to get charged, okay? And we'll use one from the 747, okay? We'll bring this out with us, we'll try it. We've been doing that where we fly them on the stock pack and then we fly them on, we fly them on a bigger pack. So this is the new controller. Turn it on, make sure the light comes on, it's flashing, that's normal. We'll go ahead and flip this over. Get this out of the way for now. By the way, you guys can buy these at Banggood. Check out the link below, get your very own. Um, I know that they're marketed a couple of different places, but Banggood's been very good to me, and so give them a shot. They're a good company to work with. Um, if you've had a bad experience, please share it on the other channels. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this tag off. That's the first thing I usually do. For whatever reason, I got really ahead of myself because the sun's going down and I wanna fly this thing. Um, after flying that C-17, I just, it just didn't satisfy because there was no elevator, okay? So once I get that cut, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and try to unwrap that thing. But it wants to keep falling down, so I'm gonna deal with it later. All right, guys, so make sure you do red to red, black to black. Well, except the label's kind of in the way. Okay, so red to red, black to black. This is a low C connector, okay? We'll plug this in. This uh, product line, the antennas are always sticking out like this. I usually try to kind of point them backwards so there's no, no additional drag being induced. No reason to add drag to a plane like this. It's not super powerful to begin with. Okay, we're gonna turn it on, set it level. First, turn the plane on, which is goofy. Then turn on the transmitter. Watch for the flashing lights. This is now bound. Elevator, whoa. Look at it pull the rudder. Mm -hmm. The vertical stab. Yep. That could be a problem.
<laughs> Somehow I don't think that's gonna work well. Well, let's go outside and find out if I'm right. Yep. All right, guys, we got the Y20 here. It's coming to you again. Get your very own, check the description below. We're gonna fly it for you now, see if it's any good. Wheels up, wheels down, pull the gear after that, just like we've been doing lately. Oh, gorgeous. What was that? Sunglasses. Oh man, that is, that is by far the easiest to fly so far. It rolls at a good rate. Guys, look at this. <laughs> I don't think that was an intentional landing. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Man, I clipped the grass on that one. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hypersensitivity on the elevator for sure. Not uncommon for this XK lineup. See those little micro corrections by the controller? Oh, it does look cool going overhead. Mm -hmm. See, the vertical stab is just not quite strong enough to support the elevator, which is a full... Oh, that looks so cool. That, by the way, that's been about 40% throttle. We're flying on about 60 now. She rolls over when you tell her to. That's nice. That's full roll. Meaning I've got my full, just a little bit of elevator in there. Full throttle, that's full up elevator. Got limited bank angles like before. Okay, I'm gonna press the button. And yes, you can shut off the limited bank angles on the uh, pitch axis. Getting into the throttle. Notice the engine nacelles are very much inboard on this Y20 compared to the C17. They seem to be spread out along the wing a little bit better. Okay, full throttle. Got it. Man, that looks cool with the sunset, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have the limited bank angles off, meaning I can do kind of what I want, but the six, the 3G6X or whatever they call themselves, kind of interfering. Not quite enough juice to get that oh, full flip there. Okay, backing off the throttle, going back into the limited angles. Here, I'll show you what it looks like here for down. Here's down, there's up, and those are the limitations. I don't know if you could tell, I'll try it one more time. There's down and there's up. Okay, we're gonna roll to the left, excuse me, to the right. Shut off our limited bank angles, excuse me, pitch angles. That's down now. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> That's up. All right, we're gonna try something crazy here. I almost can do the inside loops, guys. All right, I'm sorry. I, I know that's not my style doing inside loops like that. I did that with my Viper today and then had a bad landing. And I broke the wing, so I gotta fix it now. Woo! Woo! Okay, I think it's time for some landing gear to come off, don't you, camera crew? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll try to land it here. Mostly chop the throttle. Well, I guess we might be. Surprisingly, this thing takes a little bit of roll up to get flying, okay? 
I have yet to have any of these XK lineup, the WL toy aircraft really do great on landing, which is a disappointment because this is a pretty cool plane. And this series, I love them. They're just like fun little planes. And let's look at this again. We've got the full actuation. See that? But look what it does. It bends. <laughs> Must be a pretty strong servo. And obviously you're not gonna have pretty good luck when you move to the different control horn positions, you're not gonna get any change. Okay, so check and throttle. Yeah, that thing needs some speed to fly. Oh man, flies better without the gear already. Still a little bit hypersensitive on the elevator. I can live with hypersensitivity over complete lack of having one. Looks good. I like the C-17 looks a lot better. Mm -hmm. The colors are better for visibility too. Yep. You can tell the little microcontroller that's keeping this thing level is working overtime with that. With that elevator, because I think there's a lot of flex in it. It's, it's strange, it's almost like a non-analog control. It's like they're just giving it pulses. I still feel like the airliners fly a lot better. Um, yeah. This one looks good. So. It looks good still. But there again, this would be like my least favorite airplane in terms of airplanes go. Just on a personal preference level. You got nothing to do with flight performance at all. The C-17 is one of my favorite planes, but the airliners are also one of my favorite planes. Okay, I'm gonna bring it just between you and the truck, okay? You okay. good? Mm -hmm. Try to do it real slow if I can. <laughs> Problem is this elevator, it just, when you need something out of it, it doesn't always really come through the way you might expect it to. I think there's something about the angle of incidence on that. Camera crew, what is the angle of incidence? Oh, don't ask me things like that. Come on, you know it. The angle of incidence is the angle that the elevator or like the horizontal stabilizer, uh, this is called a stabilator, would be in relationship to the wing. Oh. oh man, look at the sunset. I know. So that totally sounds like something you just made up. What? Didn't it's you not just call the stabilator? No, the stabilator. <laughs> That's a real totally thing. Is. I didn't make that up. How dare you? <laughs> Suggest that I make up airplanes. Of all the things I know about RC planes. That's what you had to ask That's me. That's not an RC airplane. No, the angle That's of incidence. Angle of incidences. I know all sorts of stuff about this, but not no, that. You do. You're one of the most well-versed RC oh, filmers on YouTube. <clears throat> so what I can say is that if you want to do loots with this, you may need a bigger battery because you need to carry a little bit more inertia. Oh, man, that sunset is I know. just amazing. It's... Are you going to do a bigger battery? Yeah, we're going to do a bigger battery. I thought you put it in your pocket. I thought I was going to put it in my pocket, but oh. I don't want to miss the sunset. It's so freaking gorgeous. Do you want me to go get it and you can keep flying? How are you going to film while that happens? Well, I mean, I'm good, but not that good. Whoa. All right, let's see if we can catch this one. That was kind of cool with the C-17. You ready, guys? 
Okay, well, we're not going to no, catch that one. not ready. Okay, so we'll come right back and put the 700 in. Okay. My wife just suggested that we show shoving it in. <laughs> I did not. 700 milliamp pack. This is this is a 300, so you can see it's a little bigger than double the size. So I was like, well, we need to show them shoving it in. So we're going to do that. Is it going to fit in there? Oh, yes. Whenever, whenever we film shoving it in, it's always outside. <laughs> this is a family. Family show. Yeah. Family show. Family show. Giant hands are in the way. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so that's clipped. Level. Power button's on. Then turn on the transmitter. Look for the flashy lights. Okay. Oh. I think, oh, there it is. Okay. One thing I missed, there's an opening here, which is sweet. You can see the servo. So remember, this is a bigger pack. It's not the one that comes with it, but I want to show you how it performs with a bigger pack because I think the thing could use the weight just like all the rest of them. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks so good. And I'm talking about the airplane, not just the sunset. Oh man, the moon's up there too. Where? Uh-oh. No more elevator. I gotta see if the elevator stopped or if it broke. Okay guys, so I don't know if I just ran out of like, maybe there's just, we were expecting too much out of the elevator with that bigger battery, but it seemed to be working okay. So I'm gonna do something real quick. I'm gonna show you how to do this. If you run a bigger pack, you need a little bit more up elevator authority, pop out the, the linkage, okay? And then you can just tighten this in a couple of turns. Now, yes, you could do it a couple of different ways. That's just the way I'm gonna do it right now because it's easy. It's quick and dirty for the camera. And that foam is soft, so you can't really press against it. So you have to kind of get creative to get that thing to snap back in and then put your, your little plastic ring back up. Okay, so now this should be favoring up. There is no trim per se on this. So, okay, here we go. There we go. Much better. Now I have enough to go up and enough to go down. Okay, so. Sorry, on mind out of the gutter. Man, look at that cloud cover. That is so sweet. I shut off the limited pitch bank angle. I know you guys wanted to see a loop because that's what these planes do all the time is just loops all day long. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Downhill, then up. Ready? Downhill, now up. Ugh, still not quite enough. We need more speed. Coming back at us. Down. And then up. Okay. That was lame. You know it's not lame? What? That sunset. True. That is so pretty. Looks like the Chinese are invading. Again. Here they come. I hope the Chinese manuscripts are not on on this video. Okay, here we go. Whoa! A little bit more! Oh. Let's pause it for a second, see if we can find it. Okay, so you guys get to meet something new tonight. <laughs> this is called my stick of shame, okay? I learned how to use this stick of shame a long time ago. <laughs> it gets long and wiggly, okay? After all that ramming. Okay, so you grab the stick of shame and then you look up on top of your roof and you hope to God it reaches. And it does not look like we're gonna get it, are we? Me. Pretty close? Yeah. Hold up. Is it touching? No, you were over it actually. Oh, like over the top? Yeah. Hey, uh -oh. we're still. <laughs> Okay, so 
if the stick of shame is too long and bendy, <laughs> you may have to stick something into the end of the stick of shame. And then you can use that to also help get your airplane off of your roof in an embarrassing fashion. Okay, so that's what this comes to. This thing is supposed to hold a paintbrush, but in my experience, it never holds a paintbrush. Mm -hmm. It always holds nothing or a stick to get an airplane off the roof. So we'll do that and then come back and show you me getting this off the roof. Okay, so we have a long and the short. This is the short one. This technically would potentially screw into the stick of shame, except that it's got a male end. So we have to basically put this in to the end of the stick of shame, and then you can use this as though it was a paintbrush, okay? The reason I show you this is because on this channel, we like to explore all sorts of interesting <laughs> topics. Not the least of which is, how do you get a plane off of your roof when you land on it because you made a mistake? It's gonna happen. It will point. eventually happen, okay? And uh, I get to look at the sunset while you look at my stick of shame. Okay, then hey, this thing- At least you have to borrow your neighbor's stick of shame. Yes, we did, we did <laughs> have to borrow the neighbor's stick of shame a few times, so you can point that. And now we're gonna go back to it. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, watch out for my giant stick. Don't I, let that hit you in the face. Trust me, I'm watching out. Okay. All right, hon, I cannot see, so okay. you're guiding me. Oh, jeez. I know. Okay, you gotta go <laughs> further. <laughs> stick, stick my stick in further? Yeah. Okay, nope. You gotta go yeah, to the right. Left, right. Straight. You're right on the wing. You gotta go in more and then to the right. In more and to the right. Yes, forward and to the right is down, like towards the middle of the garage. Okay, down. Uh, this is not going to be How about this? a family show. How about that? Yeah, can you pull, drag it towards you? Yes. Nope, you missed it. Is it just lifting it up? No, you're like barely tapping it. How about now? And everyone's going to listen to me talk. Drag down. Nope, you got to drag more towards the front of the house, not off the side. Nope, over the top, barely. Just barely over the top. Drag. Yep. Drag, 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 drag. Did it slip off? Yeah, but you're almost to the edge of the house now. You moved it a bunch. Okay, guys. There you go. There you go. Ugh. Whoops. Okay, so. quality workmanship oh yeah baby didn't even damage it look at that look at that my friends I gotta be honest with you guys landing on the roof it's not the end of the world not landing on the roof that's like admitting defeat. If you've never landed on the roof yet, you're not trying hard enough. That's full speed pass, pretty fast. We're gonna try to slow it down. Did you like that camera crew? Hey, it didn't hit me. Okay, so everybody, what did we learn today? Don't land on the roof. Don't land on the roof. Elevators are helpful. Mm -hmm. They do make it easier to fly a plane, regardless of what that dude told me once when I bought the ASH-26. If you're listening to this video, I'd be surprised. But if you are listening, elevators are very helpful. Yes, on a properly tuned sailplane, you don't need an elevator that often, but uh, except for launching and landing and also some flying. But other than that, but other than that, you helpful. really don't need an elevator. Guys, what a beautiful sunset. Should we try catching it again just because we've done everything else in this video? Why not? We've done some ramming, we've done some cramming, we've done some sticks. Whoa! Woo! I'm not catching it.
Come on, I thought you were going to do this. Okay, we're going to try this, guys. So, I need to stall it into my hands. Yes! Yes! <laughs> now, just imagine how that would be if I had 50 Wait, neighbors. Sorry. Thanks for watching, guys. This thing is worth getting. It is pretty fun. Don't worry, it does not have a roof magnet on it. Um, but it is fun. Is it as fun as the Airbus A380? Maybe not. Is it as fun as the 747? I would say also, maybe not. I see that thing. Is it as fun as the C17? And then some. Come back for more.